Hello, everybody. My name is Ghost for Tayface. Welcome to episode 11 of our Just Build series. Today, we are going to be going over diagonals. Yes. So, we are going to be building some cars on diagonals, and we are going to be building some streets. And that's about it. I'm just going to talk to you guys about diagonals, how to build at a little bit of an angle. This is probably one of the simplest ways except cars. Cars are a little bit of a challenge to build at a diagonal. I'm going to show you a few designs that I come up with and I hope you enjoy the video. So without further ado, let's get into the building. Okay, everybody, so I'm just going to really quickly give you an example of a diagonal rope. So the first thing that I would do when I'm building a diagonal rope is I would start by marking out our center point. So our center point, I'm going to use this yellow concrete. And I just like to, when I build roads, I just build a small portion, then copy and paste them all the way. So this portion is just going to be four long. So we're going to be like this. And then now we're going to have um, four three wide lanes. So we're going to have two on each side. So this is a three wide lane for me on a diagonal. I would go from here, then one, two, three, then our center divide, white concrete, then again, one, two, three, and then our gutter, which is cyan terracotta, and then a smooth stone slab for our sidewalk. Then we're going to do the same on the other side, one, two, three, white concrete, one, two, three, our gutter, and then our smooth stone slab. Now, we are going to continue our gutter, and this is how you are going to continue it. You're going to continue like this, placing these blocks right here. And then now we're just going to move over to our lane, our um, lane divider. And then we're going to put one more block right here and then two blocks of gray concrete. Now, the reason this is is because you can now copy and paste this all the way. Because if you copy this, then it'll just be this repeating pattern over and over and over. So that is why you just need to build a section of your road, then copy it and paste it all the way. And then we're going to do that same thing over here. So we're going to place one white concrete and then two gray concretes. Then we're going to place cyan terracotta for the gutters. And then here is our sidewalk. And we are going to go like this. Actually, we're going to leave it like that. Breaking stuff. And I can't place things either. Now we're going to go to the other side, do the same thing. And that it is. Oh, there it is. All right, there we go. And now the only thing that we have left to do is simply just fill in all of these blocks right here just really quickly. I say this is going to be really quickly, but this may actually take a moment. It's surprising how long, like filling in just these few little blocks. I'm just going, and I'm going, and I'm going, and I'm still not done. Oh, but this back line I accidentally messed up. You can use a line like that just to make sure you keep it, you fill in all the correct areas. Okay, so this is the simplest version of a diagonal road. It's rather simple. It's really simple because it's just it's just one after another after another after another. Diagonal roads, they can be a little more complicated depending on how you build them. If you have different sections, if you have a diagonal of two, that's definitely different. And then you have to account for different things. And you know, it's just different. But this is probably the simplest version of a diagonal road. And again, this is just an example road. I'm just showing you guys how to build this road. And now we are going to move on to building cars. With building cars, though, it's a little more complicated. And it's just a little more difficult. So now let's just move on to building some cars. So here are the three car designs that we are going to be working with. Our first one, we have a pickup truck. This is my best attempt at a diagonal pickup truck. And the bed is probably the hardest thing because we can't add blocks like this. Because it really messes with that streamlined look that we want on the side so you stick out way too far. So I just decided I would just leave it like this. And what if we... No, that does not look good. Okay. Well, here is our design for our pickup truck. Now we're going to move on to this is our little car. And I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with how this is, this design turned out for being such a small car. I am really happy because these cars are definitely, the smaller you get, the harder it is to build on a diagonal. And then here is our um, larger vehicle. We've got the front windows, the back windows, and I, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So I'm going to really quickly show you guys how to build these cars. 
and let's just begin. So we're going to first start with our pickup truck. Let's grab all the blocks that I'm going to use. Remember, you can change these blocks out and change, mess around with the designs of the car, maybe. And it's just, this is just examples. So we are going to grab our base block, our little block right here, and then we got to grab our backlights. Oh. And I believe this is all the blocks from this car. Yes. So our base block is stone bricks, and then the slab, I always use a slab on a pickup truck. It is going to be just a normal smooth stone slab. So we are going to start with the pickup truck. This is how you build it. So you're going to start with two blocks for the tires right here. Then you're going to skip a space, then put two more blocks. And then now you are going to add in this slab. So the slab for the back of the truck is going to go here and here. And then we're going to place them all in the center. And then just one more right there. And that is the front of the truck. Now what we're going to do is place our little cab. So this is how you build the cab. That's the cab. Now we're going to put the front window in right here and right here. Now we're going to cover this all in carpet. And this is now the front of your car. Now you're just going to add um, glow frames, glow item frames right here on the front. And then actually we need one more thing this little thing for the tires. Now this isn't necessary, I just enjoy um, always having a little detail on the tires. So the way that this car is going to be moving is going to be like this. So we're going to place them right here, right here, head over to the other side, right here, and right here. And now all we've got left to do is put on the bed of the truck, which is just placing four stairs right here, right here, right here. And then now the backlights. The backlights, they are a little bit tricky, so I'm going to place them like this, I believe. Yes. Now, how I decided to place these backlights, how I decided to place them back here and not right here, is because I'm matching them up with these tires. Since these tires are as if they're facing that way, well, then the backlights are going to need to be facing that way. Because if I placed this right here, then I would switch them around. But since they're like this, I'm just I'm trying to keep small things like this uniform. The only thing that I don't have uniformed is the front lights. Because the front lights look a bit strange when you place them like this. So I thought it'd be better just to do it like that. Now we are going to move on to our next car. Now this is probably our smallest car. Yes, this is our smallest car that we're going to build. I'm using black concrete, white concrete, um, white carpet, a stone button, some glass, and then quartz stairs. And that is everything. Now we're going to head over here, and the car is going to be built right here. And all we are doing is we're going to use the same mold as this car right here, except we're going to do it a little differently. So we are going to place white concrete right here, white concrete right here, and here and here. Then we're going to fill in the center, and then one more in the back. And that's how it is. Then we are going to place glass directly in the center. And then the front of the car, whichever side you want to be the front, you just place four carpet and then carpet on the glass. And then right here, you're going to place one more piece of, um, of um, white concrete and then three stairs going like that. And the white concrete right oh, here. And then I like to have the tires always match up with other cars that are in, go in the same direction. So these tires, the buttons will be here, here, and then on the other side, here, and here. And to this car, I'm not actually going to add headlights to because it's a little difficult because you only have this one little um, square right here and again on the front. And it's just, it's a little difficult, so I'm just not going to add them. And now we are finished with this car. Now we are going to move on to our, the last and biggest car. So I'm going to use stone brick slabs, acacia wood jungle trap doors and then for the front we're going to use gla um, ladders and glow item frames the windows i always just use glass and then we're going to add stone buttons for the accents and then here are our backlights using red concrete and item frames so we're going to go over here now we're going to begin so this is how we're going to start so the mold for this car is going to literally just be you're going to place a black um a your tire down, skip one, place another tire, skip one, place another tire, and it's just a square, that's all we're doing. And then we're going to connect all of this up with some diagonal slabs like this. Oh, I'm messing it all up. Well, like this. This is the shape that you want. And then we're going to fill in the entire area in the center. 
and now we are going to add on our wood so we're just going to be placing wood like this all the way and again this is just your base block so you can always feel free to switch any uh, materials out for this block and also for the slabs and for the tires really these are just ideas and then now we're going to start by placing the, um, the hood of the car together so we're going to place the trapdoors like this and like this now because it's I don't want all of them to be facing the same way I'm gonna do this sort of zigzag pattern and place these two like this and that's the front of our car now we're gonna place our glass windows then we're gonna be placing some wood here like this just five across and then three more glass windows right here and then now fill in the back with all of your wood and this is what you should have the car to look like. And then now we're going to cont um, continue with this pattern and cover the entire roof. Oh my goodness, I keep opening the trap doors. All right, here we go. We're almost done. All righty. Now we're going to build the front of the car. So we're going to take our ladder and place two pieces like this, and then a headlight and a headlight. And that is the front of our car. Now we are going to add on little accents for the tires again using this stone button. So again, we're going to look at our other car. So our other car's um, stone buttons are facing this way, so then we're going to reverse it right here, and then reverse it on the other side and place them like this. And now they all match up, and it just gives you a little bit of just to make everything a little uniform. And now the last thing that we need to add on are our back lights. And our back lights, again, are going to be facing the same way that the buttons do. So here and here. And then put your blocks in for your back lights. And that is the end of the cars. Yes. So this is what your final car should look like. And then again, you can always change out any colors and mess around with the shapes if you'd like. But these are just to give you some ideas. Diagonal cars are not necessarily the best looking cars, but they're, they're more to be viewed from a farther away. They're just to give you the idea that a car is there. And I would say that the larger the car is, it actually is a little easier to build. And you just have to get the idea down of what type of car would I like to have in this particular area, and of course the size of the car. And then I think that this car fits this lane very well, and this car also fits this lane very well. So that is something interesting about diagonal cars, is they seem to fit no matter even if it's this size or this size in a three wide lane either size fits rather well because they always look centered and I, I like that about them so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope this gives you some inspiration to build diagonal cars and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because if you don't you may get ghosted